out in the political arena. But more breaking news coming in after the main accused in the Badlapur rape case. Akshay Shinde was killed in a police encounter. His father has now moved the High Court seeking an SIT investigation into the entire uh, police operation. The CID team conducting a formal investigation of the police van where the encounter took place. That is the latest coming in in the investigation after Akshay Shinde was shot by the police officers after he tried to allegedly snatch their revolver. The forensic team collected the blood samples from the site. The CID is now carrying out an investigation into the entire circumstances uh, surrounding Akshay Shinde's death. That is the big piece of breaking news that's coming in in the wake of this massive development in the Badlapur rape case where the main accused, Akshay Shinde, accused of sexually assaulting two minor girls, has was shot dead by the Maharashtra police on his way to Thane. The CID team is now investigating the circumstances uh, surrounding the entire... Uh, the entire incident which took place yesterday. The CID team is also conducting a formal investigation of the police van where the encounter took place. The forensic team has collected the blood samples uh, from the police van. Also, what we are learning is that the father of Akshay Shinde has now moved the High Court seeking an SIT investigation. He has called the entire incident a fake encounter. To get more details, I'm joined by my colleague Yasha Kotak on the broadcast. Yasha, over to you. Uh, yes, absolutely. So, in fact, we've seen that uh, since the last two days, uh, the family of uh, Akshay Shin, they have been alleging that this is a murder and not a case of custodial killing. But however, uh, you know, what has come to fort is now, after the post-mortem of Akshay Shin, has been done, the body of Akshay Shin has been handed over to uh, Mumra police as well. But amidst all of this, uh, now the family, that's the father of Akshay Shin, Anna Shinde, has also approached Bombay High Court in this case, asking uh, for an SIU to be formed in this case. Uh, this is particularly because they've been demanding that a case be registered uh, and a proper investigation be done in this uh, very in this very case. So here, uh, this is the allegation that is where we see uh, this very uh, uh, this very demand being made and a petition being filed at the Bombay High Court by the family of Akshay Shinde. But amidst all this, uh, we of course see a war of words one continue to play between the political parties, be it opposition leaders or for that matter, uh, the connecting um, or uh, those associated with BJP and Shiv Sena. Uh, uh, Shiv Sena, that is the Egna Chinde faction. Uh, because while opposition has been questioning this case of custodial death, uh, stating that uh, uh, there could be no possibility that, uh, that a revolver of, uh, of, of a policeman could be used by an accused in this case. Uh, but uh, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the, uh, uh, comes to, uh, come, uh, when it comes to the CM, I was a DCM for that matter, while they gave a statement, they said that this was a case wherein uh, the cops had to cross fire because of their safety concerns. Uh, because particularly they had mentioned that uh, Akshay Shinde had taken the revolver of API uh, Nilesh More uh, and had tried to fire on them. In fact, uh, following which we've also seen an FIR be registered. The, this FIR has been registered on the statement by Sanjay Shinde, who is one of the policemen who was present along with uh, with Nilesh More in the same uh, vehicle. Uh, he's mentioned that Absolutely. it was uh, Sanjay Shinde who fired on Akshay Shinde. Yes. Right, and Nilesh More was shot in the leg. Yasha, before I let you go, what is the reaction coming in from the ground in Badlapur, given the fact that uh, once this entire uh, incident came to light, once the fact that Akshay Shinde had been arrested for the sexual assault of two minor girls, there was a lot of anger on the ground. What has been the reaction from the locals and any reaction coming in from the families of the two victims? Uh, so, uh, in fact, the family of the two vict of the victims have, uh, have, have, in fact, appreciated this move by uh, the... Uh, by the uh, Mumra police in this case. In fact, the Mumra police that we speak of, uh, there have been several instances where people have gathered at Mumra and at Badlapur, uh, wherein they've also mentioned how uh, uh, they've distributed sweets celebrating uh, this very development by the uh, by uh, the uh, police because this incident took place when uh, Thane police had taken custody of Akshay from Taloja Jail. Uh, there have been several uh, social workers as well as political activists who gathered on uh, streets, gathered at various police stations to appreciate uh, the work done by uh, this police. Uh, the victim's family has also appreciated this move, saying that when it comes to a case such as rape, it, uh, it is particularly uh, it is particularly that uh, uh, that the accused in this case should be hanged to death. And this is the kind of statement that has come from the victim's mother as well this morning. Uh, but this is something that's been cross-questioned. On the other hand, by the family of the accused, uh, the family of the accused has uh, cross-questioned and said that this is not really a case of custodial killing, uh, but uh, has also further questioned uh, the stance taken uh, by uh, the cops in this case. Yes. Right. And the father has now moved the Bombay High Court, uh, claiming that this is a fake encounter. Thank you, Yasha, for getting us that piece of breaking news. Shifting from